Hi, Dominic from Lion Estates here, and today you join me in Wavenon Gate, where I'm bringing this rather lovely four bedroom, mock Tudor detached house behind me to the market. Now the property is currently tenanted, so we're not gonna do a typical walkthrough video like we normally would, but it'd be remiss of me not to tell you more about the potential the house has got and the location that it is in whilst we're here. Now this is a very generous four bedroom house standing at just over 1600 square feet. Frankly, if this was built nowadays, the builders would have definitely made it into a five bedroom. Instead, it's a really generous four double bedrooms with a large ensuite and an even larger main bathroom. Now what I love about this home is the potential. As you can see, you've got a double garage, but half of that is integrated. Now I sold this exact same style of house back in 2019, just around the corner, still in Wavenden Gate. What the new owners did is they converted the integral part of the double garage into into a further reception room. Now this gives you the ability to add an additional 140 square feet into the house, which in doing so would turn the whole home into around about 1,750 square feet, which is a really wonderfully sized family home. Now because that part of the garage backs onto the WC, if you're looking to buy a multi-generational home and put a downstairs bedroom in for an elderly family member, then you could quite easily put on an ensuite at the back of that room as the plumbing is already there. Alternatively, you could extend over the part of the double garage which already sticks out, which means you could add on a fifth bedroom upstairs, or you could add on two en suites to the two bedrooms which are already on this side of the house, turning it into a four double bedroom with three en suites family home. Now, Wavenden Gate is a great place to live anyway, but what makes Walton End so special is that it's a no-through road. It's actually part of the original Walton Road that runs from Wavenden through to Walton through to Simpson when Milton Keynes was just the original villages. It's now really conveniently located in walking distance to all of Wavenden Gate's facilities, such as the junior school, secondary school, and all the shops. You've also got Wavenden Gate Pavilion directly opposite the house, so if you've got sporty children that love to explore the outside, then this is ideal for you. Now, I've already mentioned Wavenden Village briefly, but it'd be remiss of me not to tell you more about it, seeing as it's one of Milton Keynes' hidden gems and is only half a mile or a 15 minute walk from the house. You've got one of the, if not the best pubs in Milton Keynes in the form of the Wavenden Arms, and you've got the Stables Theatre, which has held renowned artists such as Amy Winehouse, Craig David, and Jamie Cullen. Aside from that, it's just got a really lovely demeanour about it. You really don't feel like you're a part of the city. So if you're a dog walker or you just love getting out there and enjoying the fresh air, you'll absolutely love wandering down there, enjoying some of the older architecture and exploring the open fields and the woods. Now, if you like what you've seen and what you've heard, make sure you reach out to me as soon as possible. This home is going on at an extremely attractive asking price of offers in excess of 600,000. And to put that into perspective, a home has recently just gone under offer on the road next door to us, March Meadow, which was also a four bed attached with a double garage and the asking price was 625. Now, the reason why that's so important is that home was 1,350 square feet with a double garage. This is 1,600 square feet with a double garage. And as I mentioned, it's offers over 600. So if you want to be shown around this lovely home before another family snaps it up, then make sure you reach out to me and I'd love to show you around in person.